Hi everyone and welcome back to the Drupal Academy YouTube channel. In the last video, we have seen how to install the web form module in a Drupal. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple form using the web form module in a Drupal. So for that, click on the structure. After that, click on the web form to access the web forms models UI. To create the web form, click on this add web form button. After that, enter the name of your form. We will create the customer registration form. Add the description. This description will be visible to the administrative in the back end. And you can also add the categories and status as a open or the close. If you select as a close, this form will not be accessible to the anonymous users. It only accessible to the administrative user and the form submission will be the disabled. So we will keep the status as open and click on the save. Now the form is created. Next step is we need to add the elements to our form. So for that click on this add element button. Here you can see the different types of elements are available. That is the checkbox, hidden, text area, text field, some advanced elements like as autocomplete, code mirror, email, email confirm, email multiple, range. So right now we will just add the simple text field, add text field. We will give the text first text field name as a first name. In the next videos, I will show you the different types of attributes for this field like allow number of values, uh, this help title. But for this basic video, I will add this for now. Click on the save button. Now add the another element for the last name. For that as well, we will select it as a text field. Give it name as the last name. Click on save. Now third element will be for the gender. So we will select the gender as a radio button. Add element. And we will give the title as a gender. And enter the values of the radio buttons. First is a male. Second is a female. Third is the trans transgender and click on the save button next element we will add as a email so we will take this from the this advanced element it will come with, uh, with the by default validations for the email address email Click on save. Next form field we will add as a phone number. So select it as a text field. After that, enter the title. Title will be phone number. And if you want to mask that phone number, like user should enter the phone number in this format only first will be the std code and uh, after that the phone number you can select the phone number from this list and uh, webform has already provided the different types of masking like for the ip address mac address so we will set it as a phone save it next element we will add as a address address will be the text area
click on save after that we will add the one more field that is the country for that we will set it as a select add element as a drop down for the countries and we will add some name of countries in that drop down first is uh, India second is USA third is the uh, UAE and also there is one more option to select to this will provide the provision to search the name in that drop down I will show you that as well click on save after creating this form the there is also submit button if you want to customize that submit button you can customize by clicking on this customize button so if you want to add the any label like I will add the label as submit also you can add the extra classes CSS to that button click on the save and at the end click on this save element to save the form now to access this form click on the this view button so this form will be the accessible on this URL form slash customer registration form we will check this form in a incognito as well so this form is visible to the anonymous users as well now we will submit some data we will submit first name as a Lauren last name with some gender mail email address example at the rate example.com phone number so we have added the masking that's why it is showing the phone number in this format address Let's select the country so we have selected the country as a select drop down and we also selected it as a select to so it has provided the this search option if the list is quite long in that case we can search the country name so India and click on this submit button to submit the form the form is submitted successfully now if you want to check the submitted data again go to the back end and click on this result to check the submitted form data here you can see the submitted data with the date anonymous user as anonymous user ip address first name last name gender email address phone number and the, all these details also if you want to test the, this form after creating this form just click on this test button on this test it will auto populate the all field values in the form with the dummy data we can test this form by submitting with this data so another thing is we have uh, taken this field as an email and now I will add some okay, another data as well we'll add the invalid email address and the phone number is like this I will try to submit this form so here we can see the it is saying that the email address is invalid now I will submit this form and for the phone number as well it is showing the message the form requested data does not match so we need to enter this data in the proper format again click on the submit button 
so the form is submitted successfully and uh, if you want to make this field as a all field as a required just click on this required button and save all elements again go to the form and try to submit the form without filling any value so here we can see that now the stars are added uh, after each field as uh, these fields are required so here we are getting the message please fill out the this form field so that's it from this video so in this video we have created the basic form and in the next video i will show you how to add the validation and other attributes of the this form elements so i hope this video is useful for you please like the video and subscribe the channel for the more drupal related content thank you for watching